Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in this video, we've been looking at functions and we looked at classes and, and actually subclassing and all this stuff. And I want to just swing back around to functions to, to give one more detail of something that you will see occasionally. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to have a simple function that has, let's just call this um, print. You know what? I'm going to swing back to the class actually. So from within this, this uh, employee class, let's pretend we have to pass in all these values, but we're passing in an employee number here, but what happens if we don't have the employee ID? Like what if we, this is where we pass in employee ID right here. Hell, you know what, that's too confusing. I'm going to put it into its own file. We're gonna say define optional parameter. And what is a parameter? We've already seen guys, the parameter is simply the argument that you pass to your your function so this is we'll say first parameter i'm going to try to make this uh, as simple as possible i don't need to complicate things i'm going to say print first parameter and we'll even say plus eight so we're going to do a math operation so this is a math operation because you can't this is a number so we're going to pass in a parameter and it's going to print Eight. So let's call it, we're going to say optional parameter, and we'll pass in 8. So that way we can get 16. So when we run this, we go to my debugger, and we're going to run this, and we're going to get 16. Now what happens, though, is if I try to, let's see. Let's, what if I pass in nothing? Optional parameter is missing. It's missing a positional argument first parameter. It's saying because it's this isn't optional parameter is the name of the function, which is very misleading for this error message because it's saying, hey, you made first parameter required. So how do I say, you know what, I want this function to run even if first parameter isn't passed in. You would actually simply say equal and I would say zero. Or you could say, you know, if you wanted this to be eight by default or 10 by default. But the, the point is, is that I don't have to pass in a value for first parameter because it's automatically going to equal zero if I don't pass something in. So let's, let's take a look here. If I now pr run play, this isn't going to throw an error. And first parameter, when I highlight over, you can see the zero showing up right there, right, right there. Um, first parameter gets assigned a value from within the function definition itself. So it has a default value. And that way, when I say print, you know, plus eight, so eight plus zero is eight. So there's this default value now. I don't have to worry about checking something in. Well, now you're going to be like, well, you know, won't it be zero all the time? No, it won't. If I pass in a number now to this default thing, first parameter is not going to equal zero because it equals zero by default, but then I passed in a parameter that overrode its value. And now when we highlight over first parameter, you can see it's eight. So we get 16 to the console. Anyway, guys, that is called the default argument in Python. And a lot of times you want some sort of default value with the option of overriding. So that way your function still operates if somebody doesn't pass in a uh, parameter to your function. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.